Let me tell Bombay is the restaurant capital of India. So how come every Friday night we end up here, eh? Because that's what you do, Anna. You go out, you get tanked up on last season, you go for an English. Huh? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a Friday night if we didn't go for an English, huh? innit? Anyway, I love English food, yeah. I get off, you just fancy the waiters, innit? Hi. 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 Hello. All right, mate. <laughs> Now. You think Sir is feeling unwell? No, don't worry about him. He's fine. He's all right. He's never sick. Yeah, what's your problem, Sonny? Eh? We come here every week and spend lots of money. Eh? You should be grateful. You should be grateful. Shut up. I don't believe it. He's all right. He's waiter, you know. He's a maid. I say, Jamez, you're my mate, aren't you, Jamez? Jamez is my mate, you know. It's James. Jams, yeah, that's what I said, damn it. <laughs> hey, hasn't he got lovely pale skin here? Yeah. Mm. It's really nice and pasty, you know? Yeah, but you know what they say about white men, don't you? All right. <laughs> what are we having here? Okay, jams. All right, first up, we'll have ten. No, twelve. Twelve, yeah. twelve. twelve bread rolls. <laughs> and bring some of that uh, fancy stuff. Kya hota hai? Butter. Ah, oh, butter, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, main course, what's everyone having here? Yeah? What's the blandest thing on the menu? Oh, yeah. mm, Stampy is particularly bland, sir. I'll have that. And bring a fork and knife. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, 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 yeah, listen yeah. I'm going to have the same as him. No. Yeah, uh -huh. Except I'm also going to have prawn cocktail. Hi, hi. <laughs> that in the morning. <laughs> Gammon steak, please. <laughs> Jams. Tell you what, give him the gammon steak, huh? But leave off all your crap. And none of your peach halves and the pineapple rings. Not in his condition, you know what I mean? I'll have the gammon steak as well, but crap on the side, okay? Uh, Nina? Um, could I just have the chicken curry, please? Oh, oh God, Nina! Nina, come on, it's an English restaurant, yeah? You've got to have something English, no spicy shakes. Mm, but Nitin, you know, I don't like anything too bland here. Yeah, have something a little bland, huh? Hey, Jemas. What have you got that is not totally tasteless? Uh, the steak and kidney pie is only a little bit there. Uh, there you go, Nina. Steak and kidney pee. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it knocks me right up. I won't go to the toilet for a week. Nina, that's the point of going for an English. So, Amira, what are you going to have? Oh, well, I can't decide between the steak and kidney pee and the cod money. Well, I'll tell you what. You have the cod, I'll have the pea, and we can mix and match. Okay. Actually, I think that is the way you're supposed to eat this sort of food. Acha, 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 acha. Right, we'll have two scampis, hmm. two gammon steaks, one with the crap on the side, one uh, cod morne, steak and kidli pea, and uh, chips. Chal, uh, yeah. chal, 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 chal. 24 plates of chips. <laughs> you might have ordered too much, sir. What? Hey, Clive of India, who bloody asked you, eh? Just bring us the bloody food or do a moody. Welcome to this first symposium on the higher consciousness, transcendental, tantric, karmic, this thing. <laughs> Tonight's lecture will be delivered by his most serene calmness, the Guru Maharishi Yogi, which is me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, many people in the West think that in my country, India, because of our religions, because of our histories, because of I don't know what. But somehow we are more in tune with our spirituality, more at one with the forces of nature. Well, we are. So well done, all those people who said that. <laughs> now, one of the ways in which we gurus like to express our spirituality is in the form of ancient Sanskrit rags. Now, these are very similar to your Christian hymns, but they're more catchy tunes with more chipa. <laughs> now, tonight's recitation will be the story of the demon and the mongoose, which tells of the moral dilemma faced by a young man who's committed a terrible crime. I will translate from the original Sanskrit as we go along. 
Atamranangam nabajao. Unable to face his friends, the man is telling his mother of his crime. Ravi Svatam Brushed latrine ajatam Now it seems what has happened is that he has shot a man in the head from a very close range. Now, the text does not specify the make or caliber of the type of pistol. But I would interpret that it is a small gun. Possibly a .22 or a Saturday night special. Now, for the first time, the text quotes the actual words spoken by the troubled man to his mother. Gavaskar Sohil Nabotham Chandarma Batman in Gotham Now translate it. This is meaning Mama I just killed a man. Put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Mama! His life had only just begun, but now I've gone and blown it all away. <laughs> Galileo, Galileo. This is fierce, man. I can't believe that you got tickets for the Oprah Winfrey show. Man, I didn't even know she was in the country, innit? Well, my uncle works in TV, innit? Wow! Oh, massive, man. What channel? All of them. Right? He's a repairman, innit? <laughs> I love Oprah, man. Whoa. When I grow up, right, I want to be like Oprah. Yeah. You mean a middle-aged black woman with a weight problem? <laughs> no, man. Like rich and successful and like a TV moogle, innit? She's the richest woman in the world, man. Whoa, yeah, man. That is because, right, chat shows are massively popular. <coughs> but do you know why? Is it because of the Manelian acts caused by the disillusion of the commonly held value system, innit? <laughs> <laughs> no, you bendu! <laughs> it is because, right, a problem aired is a problem shared. It's good to talk. People got problems they want to chat about, innit? You mean like the Rasmalai? <laughs> Everyone. So what's your problem, man? Oh, I kiss my chaddies, man. I ain't got a problem. What's your problem? I ain't got a problem, man. Just calm down. You right calm man. down, innit? You calm well, down, you man. Calm down first. No, man, you calm down, man. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> now we've aired our problems, innit? <laughs> I feel better already, you know. Man, Oprah can do that. She can make the audience relate to each other. That's why she's the best, man. Better than Ricky Lake. Easy. Better than Montel? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Esther. Even Esther, man. Oh. <laughs> Who do you think, right, would win in a fight? What kind of stupid question is that, man? I'm sorry, man, I just wondered... Oprah would wondering. kick their sorry talk show butts, man. Cos she's the best, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But have you ever wondered, right, why there's no Asian talk show host? Nah. But it's a good question, isn't it? Because the, because it wouldn't work, innit? Why not, man? Well, imagine it, guy. On tonight's programme, women who run off with their husbands, sisters' husbands. <laughs> and here's your host, Auntie Prem. <laughs> Auntie comes on, first thing she does? Give everyone a top of yeah. man. <laughs> and then she said, right, total bestie, man. Oh. You women ain't got no shame, get out of my studio, put up, put. Yeah, end of show, <laughs> Yeah, man, leave it to Oprah. She's coming on, man. <laughs> man, she looked different from the TV, innit? What, 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 what do you mean, thinner? No, man, whiter. <laughs>
Hello. <laughs> Mr. Gautam from the Pest Control Agency. You rang earlier? Oh, yeah, thanks for coming. God, we've got mice all over the place. Well, that's what we're here for. Oh, yeah, sorry, come in, come in. I'll show you where the problem is. <laughs> Unusual uniform. Uniform? <laughs> Actually, I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> well, um, I think the mice are nesting under the cooker. Yes, that's quite normal. Well, I'll take it from here. So, what bait are you going to use? Bait? No bait. Oh, right, you use traps, yeah. Traps? I do not use. So, how are you going to kill them, then? Kill? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to get rid of them? Ah. Buddha teaches us there is more than one way to get rid of mice. We do not have to stoop to killing. Right, so what are you going to do, then? Well, I intend to make them think again about their actions. Hang on. Think again about their actions? How are you going to do that? That's the clever bit. You see, I have brought with me a small bunion tree <laughs> under which the mice will sit in cross-legged contemplation until eventually they will reach enlightenment. Right, and that's going to stop them crapping in the bread bin, is it? <laughs> they will reach Nirvana, where there are more enlightened toilet facilities for mice. <laughs> Look, just kill them, will you? I cannot kill them. But if you insist on death, I could try something. But it is an extreme measure. What is it? I could create a very oppressive political regime under your cooker. <laughs> which will cause the mice to set fire to themselves in protest. <laughs> Shut up. Now, is there anyone in your firm who kills mice? Well, there's Mr. Kumar. Right, and he kills mice, does he? No. But you make them behave so badly that they come back in their next lives as little stones. <laughs> which are much easier to catch. That's great. Get out. OK, 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 OK. If you insist, I can call Mr. Malik. Uh, he'll kill your mice. Oh, really? As long as you don't mind him slitting their throats and hanging them around your kitchen on little hooks. Get out! <laughs> I do hope I'm not intruding on your simple rural rituals. It's just that, you see, I'm visiting from England and I wanted to see something, you know, authentic. Oh, uh, please, uh, come in, uh, Mrs... Come, come. Uh, Rose, call me Rose. Rose. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely perfect. Uh, what is it that you do in England, uh, Rose? I'm an artefacts buyer for a chain of stores. Oh. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand such decadent Western practices. You're more connected with the flow of the seasons, the pull of the earth and the ripening of the crops. But that's what I do. That's my karma, I suppose. Karma! <laughs> I must say, what's that over there? Oh, what that rusty old pail you mean? Oh. <laughs> that? was my great-grandmother's birthing bucket. <laughs> Three generations of downtrodden dung handlers have squatted over its rim. It is uh, over here because we like looking at it and crying. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, you could really appreciate it. It was mounted on a plinth with subtle backlighting. Don't you think? <laughs> I've lost you, haven't I? <laughs> I do apologise. I'm sorry. Oh, may I sit down? Oh, no, please. Not on my maternal uncle's prayer seat. <laughs> I didn't realise. I thought it was a debt chair. I suppose you'll be telling us that this is a Formica coffee table with a leg missing. Well, 
it is a 200 year old bullock slide. You see, the bullock climbs up here and slides through the middle of the gap there. You must think I'm stupid. Uh, well, well, you see, can you hear me? I am so stupid not to have seen how precious these things are to you. I mean, this whole house tells a story. Yeah. That thing on the wall over there that, to my Western eyes, looks like a can opener is... A an authentic turbine winder. <laughs> the pattern bedspread over here. A traditional Hessian covering woven by blind Punjabi widows. The pattern looks quite familiar. Yes, it is amazing how our ancient gods look so much like the Power Rangers. <laughs> I know this is presumptuous of me, but this whole house is a monument to authentic India, and, well, I could offer you a sizable amount of... Oh, no. You'd never sell your heritage. What am I thinking? How, How much? Two thousand pounds? Let me help you load your land rover. <laughs> Don't forget me. But are those cowpats? Coasters. <laughs> Tempting. Oh, my God! Everybody, come over here! Come over here! Oh, what? 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 I made a small offering of milk in this katori to the statue, and now the milk has gone, <gasps> leaving just a chalky white deposit and a strange smell. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. When did you put it there? about three weeks ago. He's evaporated, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No miracle. Oh. Wait a minute! Everyone, come here, quick, quick, quick! Oh, what? 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 This morning, I placed the agarbatti in front of the statue, and now all that's left is a pile of ashes and a strange smell. It's a <laughs> Did you light it? Well, of course. Well, it's just burnt down, leaving the smell of incense. That's what justics do, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. But wait! <gasps> no, sorry, never mind. No. It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Everyone! It's a miracle! I left. An insane, spicy bean burger, happy meal near the statue. And now it's gone, leaving just some of these pieces of gherkin. Oh. And a strange smell. Well? Well, uh, I don't know. It's a Hang on! Hang on! What's that on your chin? Uh, mayonnaise. And how did it get there? I, I, I ate the Happy Meal. Oh. Yes, but what about the strange smell? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at everybody. Why do we need a miracle? I mean, isn't your faith enough? Would it be any stronger if the gods performed some trivial magic trick for you, huh? No. No. <laughs> wait, wait, look! The statue is moving! It's coming alive! It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Forgive me for doubting you. I humble myself before you. You are forgiven, my child. Now, pick a card. <laughs> Okay, 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 guys, settle down, settle down. Now, as you all know, we here at Sachi and Juta pride ourselves on taking on tough advertising campaigns and winning. Yeah. Mm? They all said we couldn't sell toilet paper to the villages. <laughs> but we did it, damn it, thanks to Ravi's catchy slogan. Yeah, Ravi's the man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys, it is nothing. Really. Uh, come on, yeah, it was master. <laughs> Why take two lotas into the field when you can wipe and go? <laughs> and this is the big one, guys. This morning, we landed the feminine account. Right, yes, we will be the first ad agency.
agency in India to promote feminine tampons. <laughs> That's great, Ronnie. Isn't it, guys? Uh, well, absolutely, yeah. It's a chance to give modern choices to the modern Indian woman. So, ideas. Uh, Neelam. What? <laughs> Well, I just thought, you know, you're the woman on the creative team, so... Right. So now I'm some sort of feminine hygiene guru, is that it? Ask one of the bloody men for a damn change. Where's <laughs> my Neurofen? <laughs> Any ideas from the English campaign on this product, Rani? Oh, yes, you see, now, they've got a beautiful girl jumping out of an aeroplane in a skin-tight lycra suit singing, It's my life! <laughs> well, I don't think we want to confuse our women with fancy aerial tactics. Mm, then think of the mess, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, please, guys, then. come on, yeah, grow up. Hey, Ronnie's right, okay? It's a perfectly natural product for a perfectly natural physiological process. Right. What do you mean exactly? <laughs> you know, natural process, the woman's thing. Yes. And this feminine thing is for that <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh, oh, thing. oh, for oh, God's oh, sake. God. Just have a look at the product and then tell me what you think. <laughs> oh, God. I feel sorry for women, you know. It can't be much fun having to swallow one of these every month. Huh? You... Oh, no! It doesn't go in the mouth. Really? Where does it go? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, we'll have to stick a health warning on the packet. Why? Only to be used by married women. Ah, we don't want hundreds of angry fathers knocking on our door. Uh, with a pundit. Exactly. Mm. So put a health warning on you, dung breath. I'm sorry! I've got it. I've got the ad. Great, great, Ram. Share it with the room, yeah. OK, OK. Mm. We start off with some tinkly music. Right, right. A sort of housewife tum ti tum ti tum theme, OK, right? And then you see a waft into frame. Great. Who? Today's modern Indian woman. Yes. Dressed in a full-length burqa with a big bell around her neck and a sign which says, unclean, unclean. <laughs> and she's so disgusted with herself, she runs into the nearest shop and buys a packet of ta-da thing. <gasps> ah, that's brilliant, yeah. And we can give away a big bell with every packet of thing. Ah, and ah. the slogan, OK? This thing for that thing. With a ding. Over the ding. Excuse me. Don't touch me! What, eh? What's wrong with her? Time of the month. I thought it was 4.30. <laughs> I say, Shashi, Veena and Sarjeet are here. It's not Shashi, it's Charlotte. And for God's sake, get their names right. OK, 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 calm down. I know what I am doing. <clears throat> uh, Sarjeet! <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so nice of you to invite us. So nice of you to come. <laughs> oh, well, we wouldn't miss the Kapoor's barbecue for the world. Hey, pronounced Kupa. <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. uh, what perfect weather you've chosen for a barbecue. Mm, it's simply marvellous. If anything, it's a little too hot, wouldn't you say, Dennis? Uh, well, I believe that mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. <laughs> and after all, my husband is uh, an Englishman. Which must make you the man. Another jug of pims, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, could we... Uh, Dennis? De Dennis? Oh, oh, so sorry, old chappy. Just keeping an eye out for that mad dog you mentioned. <laughs> Sounds a bit dangerous, what? There is no mad dog, Dennis. It is a line from a song by Noel Coward. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. Buggers all round oh, eh? oh, 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 yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, where is that son of yours, Subhash? Uh, you mean, mean Sebastian. Sebastian. <laughs> yes, uh, I take it he's turning up to his own homecoming party. Uh -huh. <laughs> I say, here he is. I say, Sebastian. Oh, oh. Come and say hello, oh, hey. Hello, <laughs> Uncle Surajit, Auntie Veena. <laughs> Sinjin and Vanessa, you little. <laughs> so, how is Master Cooper these days? It's pronounced Kapoor, right? Oh! <laughs> Wag. Oh. So, um, I hear you've been travelling all around India, Suba Eat Sea Bass. Hmm? Yeah, I wanted to get back to my roots. 
We are Indian, after all. <laughs> Why don't you go and have a lie down, Sebastian? You're obviously jet-lagged. Well, there's nothing wrong with being Indian. <laughs> Have I mentioned the weather all, Pippi? <laughs> For God's sake, we're Indian. We're the Kapoors. You're the Robindranaths. Robinsons! Oh, please. <laughs> You were born here, brought up here. We we sent you to a bloody expensive public school. <laughs> we both thought you were the perfect English gentleman. Well, I'm not English. Yes, sir, Bakase. Anybody fancy a game of croquet? Ball? Oh, yes. The morning dancing? I mean, you're not fooling anyone. You're serving pims with courgettes in it. <laughs> you haven't even lit the charcoal. All that meat is completely raw. <laughs> Evacuate to your lavatorial conveniences. <laughs> Evacuating, evacuating. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May I say how honored I am to be at this World Symposium for the Mutual Understanding of Transcendental Collective Consciousness, this thing. <laughs> May I also say what a deeply penetrating pleasure it is to be able to pass off on <laughs> my divine knowledge to you spiritually flatulent Westerners. <laughs> now, as you may know, Hinduism is a fascinating network of philosophies, legends, and nice tunes, <laughs> all enmeshed by gurus such as myself. You're welcome. I will now take the first question. Uh, Guruji, could you tell us about the elephant god Ganesh? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a, a wonderful story. It's magical and uplifting. I will translate from the original Sanskrit. <clears throat> Maratha Prantha. Or a can of Fanta. You see, uh, he had a trunk like an elephant. <laughs> Ears, same, like an elephant. <laughs> Except his ears were very big, you see, because he was a god. You see? And all the other elef gods used to laugh at him, and there was a little mouse that lived in his hat. Right? <laughs> With the magic feather, and oh, like that. And then there was a cross, and, and they had just been done seen about anything since they saw an elephant fly. <laughs> and everything was of the very nice. <laughs> Next question. Well, what about Hanuman? <laughs> Mon monkey god, right? Right, 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 right. Well, this is also a fascinating parable that shows us the need to discover our inner journey and also other stuff. Amitav na bachan Starsky na hachan Madhuri, Madhuri, Choli ka nachan. You see, uh, uh, he was the uh, leader of the monkeys. Uh, he was the king of the swingers, in fact. And, um, and, he, and he said he, he, he kidnapped the, the Mowgli, the Sita. He said, Vrdangam na bajao, halwa na banao. Which means, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to be like you. Ooh. And, and also, also, there was the Sher Khan and, and the Not Yet Baloo and, and the vultures from the Liverpool and everything was of the very nice. Uh, hang on. Uh, oh, really? Meditation. Oh. you, man, this place has changed totally. Well, man, that is what happens when you don't come to school for a year, innit? <laughs> you know what? When we started coming here, I don't reckon there were as many Asian kids as there are now, you know? That, man, is because there is a general and massive fold increase in the number of brown people in the world, including our school. <laughs> Why's that, man? Because everybody's been crossbreeding with each other, innit? <laughs> Not with us, they ain't, man. <laughs> so shut up and listen to what I'm telling you, right? There is a global 
pan-continental interracial Ras Malai festival going on. <laughs> Fact, right? In the year 2050, everyone on the earth will be brown because of interracial mixing. Yeah! <laughs> like crayons! <laughs> what? Yeah, no, 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 it's true. You remember when we were kids, yeah? And you get all the different crayons and then you mash them up all together, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mix the crayons and they come out brown. Nah. You eat the crayons and then they come out brown. <laughs> Just my tubbies, man. That is both wrong and disgusting. What I'm telling you is a beautiful thing. Where all the peoples of the world become a global tribe, <gasps> rejoicing in the glory of their newfound... Brownness. So what you're saying is, right, that everyone's going to be Asian? That is what I'm saying. Oh, that's going to be a massive problem, man. What are you talking about now? If everyone in the world is Asian, who can I smoke in front of without my mum finding out? <laughs> it's a small price to pay for racial harmony. But what about the cricket team? If everyone's Asian, who will we play? <laughs> there will be one big team consisting of everybody. And everyone in the world will take it in turns to be captain. Same as now, then. <laughs> yeah. But you've got to think about the massively positive aspects of Asia World, man. Uh, what's that, man? Well, for example, all shops will be permanently open. <laughs> and you won't have to spend ages waiting for a doctor, cos you'll probably be one. Oh! Yes, man! Yes! Yes! But best of all, right, in Asia World, there will be no more wars. The whole planet will be ruled over in peace and tranquility by one all-powerful leader, the Richard Branson of Asia World. <laughs> Who's that, man? The part of Pickle family, innit? <laughs> Did you have any trouble finding us? No, straight through on the A10 and then the B3118. <laughs> Late arrivals. That'll be the neighbours. <clears throat> oh, no blood. Yes, and they're very keen to blend in. Guys, this is Surgit. Sinjin! And the nest! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hi, I love the costumes. What made you choose them? Well, you did say that you were swingers. Four! <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I'm sure there'll be plenty of time for foursomes later on. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad to hear it. Vanessa's been up all morning polishing my wood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I wouldn't have had to if you didn't take such big divots with it. <laughs> <laughs> Div Div you got the... <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose, um, actually you'd be wanting to mingle and let your hair down and... Well, actually, there's a couple of people here who I'm sure you're going to get along with really well. Oh! Oi, Sergida! <laughs> Dennis, your party animal! <laughs> ah, I see your old friends. Ha, 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 yes, yes. Uh, ish. Glad you could both make it. <laughs> Don't mention it, old fruity. I see the baby's up a bit late. <laughs> oh, it's not a baby, Dennis. <laughs> 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 Great. I expect you'll find this whole scene very tame. Yes. I expect you get up to some pretty exotic things where you come from. What? You, you mean next door? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you probably teach us a lot of thing or two, eh? We British, we're so sexually inhibited, don't you think? Mm. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> I'm very inhibited, uh, sexually. <laughs> so is Dennis, aren't you, dear? Uh, thank you. Huh? <laughs> I was just saying, Dennis, how sexually backward you are. Oh, yes, completely useless. <laughs> uh, then again, there's nothing more British than a good orgy. Uh, I should cuckoo. <laughs> uh, yes, we're always having orgies at our place. <laughs> very naughty, very British. <laughs> well, our house is a cesspit of sexual degradation. <laughs> well, St. is frequently beside himself with sexual rage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you've had enough, dear? You wish. Well, <laughs> if it's an orgy you're after, <laughs> we'll jump in any time. <laughs> Fill the bath with baked beans, huh? <laughs> Chain me to something painful. <laughs> <laughs> Spank me hard and call me Barbara. <laughs> How about a bit of wife swapping? Oh, swapping, swapping. Uh, a set of screwdrivers for Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> I knew our Asian guests would spice up the party. Yeah. What? So you have... Asian guests? Oh, Tuadi! Oh, dear. <laughs> we really should be going. Yes. Oh, hang on, what about the orgy? What? 
with Asian people. Oh, yeah, you pervert! Disgusting! Go on, we're leaving. Let's just leave it alone. Okay, I call this meeting of the Indian Broadcasting Corporation to order. I've invited you all down here today to introduce you to our new head of ethnic minority programming, Mr. John Britt. <laughs> John will be making sure that our representation of uh, English people will be tickety boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, I've got a few suggestions. Well, glad to hear that you've settled in all right. I call this meeting over. <laughs> hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't actually finished. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> now, I really do feel that the British community in India is totally underrepresented in the media here. Uh, now, hang on a minute. I have to disagree, right? You've got that weekly magazine programme. Oh. What's it oh. called? Uh, Network West. Yeah, Network West. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I saw a brilliant item on last week's show, uh, the Morris Dancers of Ambala. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they mix Bhangra with traditional British brass band music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was on at six o'clock on a Sunday morning. Why do they get up so early? Huh? Walk the dog, I think. <laughs> Look, 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 look. In any case, we're not all Morris dancers, you know. That's just a stereotype. And why is it, whenever we see a Brit on TV, he's either a tourist or a diplomat? And why can't we play doctors? Or, I don't know, shopkeepers? Oh, come on. I mean, when was the last time you saw a white doctor? <laughs> anyway, what about those two characters in the long-running soap opera, West Enders? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What about giving us a season of English films? Oh, Man, I've got to ask you, has anybody actually seen an English film? Eh? No. I mean, what are they all about, eh? Uh, I saw one once. Remains of the day. I couldn't believe it, right? Only two hours long, right? No dancing. <laughs> Well, they can't, can they? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What about, what about an all-British comedy show? British comedy? Are they funny? <laughs> well, the accent's quite funny, no? Uh, oh, no, no, that's, that's right, that's right. You say anything in an English accent is bound to get a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Jolly quite right. <laughs> We're tired of being marginalised and exploited and reduced to farcical stereotypes. OK? Now, we want change, and we want it now. OK. John? I think I have a proposal that will satisfy us all. <clears throat> well, that's, that's great. I propose we cut your budget by 50%, lay off three-quarters of your staff, and relocate the ethnic minority unit to just outside Jalanda. Now, hang on a second. And we will also be extending your contract for life. That sounds perfect. Welcome to India. Have a part. <laughs> I gotta redefine my headgear. Oh, hey, are you going to the Old Trafford on Saturday? Of course I'm going, man. I thought it was sold there. Sorry, man. My uncle the window's a travel agent. <laughs> he got me one of them sports packages. Includes coach from Southall to Manchester. <laughs> With a five day stopover in Wolverhampton. <laughs> Does that include match tickets? Bloody Uncle Bastard. Unlucky geezer, unlucky! Now kiss my chuddies, man. <laughs> I'll get a ticket at the way supporters end. The allocation is so there. Man, you're talking about the white man's ticket allocation. There's still the Asian ticket allocation. What's that then? Five per game. <laughs> cool. How come there's no more than five Asians at a football match, man? Ah, oh, the age-old question. The answer is simple. There are two reasons. First of all, ain't no way the Asians gonna eat the crap they serve at football grounds. Yeah. I mean, I can't see my dad eating no meat pie. <laughs> not until they start to define it more clearly. And maybe throwing some coriander in it. Good point.
right, man. I mean, I can't see my Auntie Bimbala getting her gold brand of cold jumbo sausage. <laughs> What's the second reason, man? The, the second reason is this, right? If you go football every Saturday, who's going to look after the shop? Yeah! <laughs> I never saw that! So, who did you support in the World Cup? What are you on about now? I mean, did you support England or did you support France because they won? <laughs> man, that is a stupid question. There was only one team to support. The team that represents the motherland of our culture, our language, our way of life. India weren't there, man. Why oh, India? I'm talking about Jamaica. Cha! Cha, man. Here's the reggae boy. Exactly my point, man. Plus, their kit is sponsored by his royal bagginess, the one and only Joseph Bloggs Esquire. <laughs> the master. Why hasn't India got a team? Because Indians don't play football, man. What's that? Because of the ball, in it. What about it? Man, it's made of leather, right? <laughs> so your Hindu football team consists of 11 blokes trying not to touch the ball. <laughs> that is not a good tactic. What they should have is a pork ball for the Hindu team and give the beef ball to the Muslim team. Salala <laughs> make up both, man. And for internationals, they could use a veggie ball. Yeah. Like, like, a, like a pumpkin or a big swede. Or, 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 or a coconut. Yeah, on me head. <laughs> Whichever buddy you are. Nah, I mean, I just mean it. <laughs> oh, phew, be not. I thought you was one of my stalkers trying to ask me out again. <laughs> <laughs> In their dreams. As if. Anyway, what was you ringing me about? Oh, nothing. Just to let you know that I've been asked out on a date, innit? <laughs> Hello? Mina, you still there? Yes, yeah, sorry, I just fainted for a second. <laughs> now, you do remember we don't count men on the telly or in magazines, yeah? And they are not sending you secret messages through your hairdryer. <laughs> no, Mina, this time it's a real bloke, innit? I met him on the escalators in the metro centre when he caught his anorak toggle in my belly button ring. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we finally left casualty, right? <laughs> he asked me out. Well, I hope you told him in his dreams, buddy. Well, uh, um... You uh, did at least say as if, didn't ya? I mean, I would have done. Only, see, Michael's quite cute, right? Oh, man. Michael? So now you're switching from rotty to white bread, eh? <laughs> It's going to be a hot day, isn't it? Listening to his cooler shaker CD in the back of his full Cortina <laughs> while he drools about you're all over tan <laughs> in his dreams. Actually, Michael's half Indian, isn't it? Which half? <laughs> does it matter? Yeah, it does. If it's a top half, he'll think you're a slut if you kiss on a first date. And if it's a bottom half, don't bother kissing him because he'll be useless at anything else. <laughs> As if. Well, I did kiss him, so there. And it was quite nice, too. And I didn't have any of them guilty hallucinations after, neither. Oh, yeah! Them ones where your grandparents appear at the end of the bed, waving bloody swords and shouting, die in agony, dung-sucking whore of Jolanda. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's just me, then. <laughs> you don't mean her. You don't want me to go out with him, do you? If you want to betray the sisterhood, that is up to you, Bina. Well, so what shall I tell his best friend, then, who wants to go out with you? <laughs> Still there? Hey? Eh? Hurry up or we'll be late! And that is... Nazreen Ishak, a happy-go-lucky teenager who, like so many young Asian girls, is oppressed by traditionalist parents who treat her like a piece of property. This week on Exposé, I expose these parents.
Hello, excuse me, Mr. Ishak. <laughs> yes? Bob Nonk, expose. Where is your daughter Nazreen at the moment? Uh, she's in her room. Right, why? Uh, she's doing her homework. I see, so she's shut up in her room. What? Is the door locked? Uh, what do you mean? Do you lock her in her room until she's finished? No. And if she fails to get straight A's in her exams, what then? What then? I assume you'll administer a severe beating. <laughs> no. Are you trying to tell me that you don't beat your daughter? That you don't treat her like a slave? That you don't keep her locked in the cellar with only a bucket for her toilet? Darling, what's happening? Who are these people? Ah, Mrs Ishak. When your daughter wants to go out with her friends like a normal Western girl, how do you stop her? Well, she quite likes going out with her friends. In fact, she's going to cinema tonight. And what if your daughter were to meet someone at this cinema? What if she then wanted to marry this person? Is it not the case that you would then lock her in the cellar again until she agreed not to marry this poor man whose only crime was to fall in love with a member of your family? We don't have a cellar. <laughs> Are you going to force her to marry her unborn tractor-driving cousin from Pakistan with only the one eye but 12 enormous fingers? <laughs> It's been nice talking to you, but we have to go. Do you tie her up with your husband's belt? We have to go inside. Would you? Now, for us, please. Look, just go away, you stupid man. Oh, go on. The viewers will love it. The viewers? Is this going to be on television? Yes. <laughs> OK, um, I'll just go get her. Come on, Beta, let's clear these comic books away. Oh, don't move that. That's my Superman collection. I'm trying to put it in order. But you've got so many. Do you need this many comics? <clears throat> Superman's my favourite superhero. Ah, well, I can understand that. He's so brave, so strong, so Indian. <laughs> what? Superman Indian. No! Ah, ah, come on, you've seen the film. He runs faster than a speeding train. There's only one country where you can run faster than the train. <laughs> What about Clark Kent? Huh, Clark Kent? Uh, national health glasses. Bad haircut. Go to Calcutta, you see millions of civil servants dressed exactly the same. No, Dad! Superman comes from Krypton. Kerala! <laughs> Think about it, yaar. He's got two jobs. Indian. Never takes a day off work. Indian. And how does he get around? Cheap flights. I don't believe you. Not just Superman. Batman, Spider-Man, Incredible Hulk, all top superheroes come from India. Rubbish! Not rubbish. You look at the ancient Hindu texts, they're full of superheroes. There's Holy Man, Hanuman, <laughs> Catman do. Catman do. Okay, forget that one. But also Mongoose Man, Bribery Man, Latrine Boy. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Hey, don't be stupid. Put, put the blanket straight. Put the blanket straight. Jaldi karo. Right, now, listen, listen, listen. It's a beautiful day. The birds are singing. We have all come here to relax. Now, can we please, please get through this day without any raised voices, any noises, or any hangama? Okay? Okay, right, now. Who wants cheesecake? Uh, me, please, yeah. darling. Could we have the spoons, please, dear? Uh huh. Oh. What is it? We forgot the spoons. <laughs> They're only spoons. I knew this day would be a disaster. Dear <laughs> girls, we will all starve to death. No, no, we won't. Look, we can eat the cheesecake with our hands. Uh, ah. Okay. Uh, darling, you have a bit of cheesecake on your lip. Oh, where are the wet wipes? You don't have them? I thought you had them. Oh! <laughs> if not wiped off, the, the cheesecake will turn to poison and I will be a widow! <laughs> and, and, and we'll be orphans! <laughs> look! Look! I take this tissue, put a bit of mineral water on it. Hey, presto, wet wipe. No fuss, no bother. Oh, oh. sorry, Daddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Daddy. Now. I'm going to have a jam sandwich. What's that noise? 
Hij is Olympi. Plego V. Come in the shape of a V. Come, children, come with jam so it may take me further. Come with jam so it may take me further. What happened? The demonic bee is dead. Yes. Now can we please eat? How did you kill it? With this aerosol. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God! God. The aerosol! Yeah. You're destroying yeah. the ozone layer! I told you if you married this man, he would carry out his evil plot to wipe out mankind with a cloud of toxic gas and a cheesecake. Everybody behind me, I'll absorb the fatal rays. Cover uh, me in jam anyway. Under the armor. That's, That's Sinjin, Sinjin and Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> uh, Dennis, you old bogey collector. You ready for a quick round on the old links? Any time, but let's get the golf out of the way first. The links is the golf course, Dennis. I knew that. <laughs> Shall we tee off? A ting, ting. Oh. <laughs> Can't hit the bloody thing. <laughs> um, say, darling, I've got an idea. Why don't we turn the stick around? <laughs> Actually, they're called clubs, not sticks. Yes. Are you too sure you've played golf before? Uh -huh, uh -huh, of course, of course. Uh, we are both members of the Royal and Ancient Chingford Golf Stick Club. <laughs> sure. Yes. I knew that. <laughs> Let's try this end. I've hit that thing a mile. <laughs> that thing is called a divot. And it's supposed to stay on the ground, like your ball has. <laughs> I say I'm absolutely part. A careful a spot of whiskey, Charlotte? No, thanks. Not while I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> I say, where's Dennis got to? Oh, here he comes. So, sorry, chaps. Just been for a tinkle. What? You went all the way back to the clubhouse? No, I went to that latrine. <laughs> That's a bunker. Sure. Yes. I didn't know that. I hear. Who's this chap? What the hell are you people doing on this course? Dang off! What are you up to? Look, you can't play here. It's just not on. Why not? Because this club is restricted. I'm not sure I'm with you all, Fruity. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. How many Asian people have you seen playing on this course? I haven't seen any. That's right. And they usually get everywhere, don't they? <laughs> and another thing. Are any of you lot called Dennis Cooper? <laughs> yes, uh, how do you know? Because you've written your name in the sand. <laughs> uh, Dennis, shall we move on to the 19th hole? Oh, oh, I've had enough of golf. Let's just go straight to the bar. <laughs> Thank God you brought the golf cart. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending the launch of my new spiritual guidebook, The Maharishi Yogi's True Path to Enlightenment. Now, as we are all aware, the market for spiritual guidebooks is currently saturated by many charlatans. People like Deepak Chopra, <laughs> Dalai Lama, <laughs> Delia Smith. <laughs> These 
people miss the very essence of Vedic teaching, as summarized by the ancient Sanskrit dictum. Blighton na Grisham na Rushdi. Yogi ya Scooby ya Matli. This is meaning the best things in life are free. <laughs> but you can keep them for the birds and bees, I want money. <laughs> but my book is the only one that remains both faithful to the principles of Vedic teaching and also available in pop-up form. <laughs> I was first inspired to write this book after the astounding success of my first work, the Maharishi's genealogy of contemporary moral Eastern philosophy, later turned into the Hollywood blockbuster Basic Instinct. <laughs> in my new book, I try to solve the problems of life in a stress-filled modern world. Now, there are two paths to spiritual fulfillment. I would recommend the hardback path priced $18.99. <laughs> now, as you all know, my book is the center of some controversy. There are those that disagree with my teachings, those that are critical of my work, especially chapter 29, where the guru meets the two Californian blondes in the jacuzzi. <laughs> to these skeptics, I would like to quote an ancient Sanskrit proverb. Mel B ya Mel C ya ya Va va ye kya ye ass wash. This is meaning, come on, I'm trying to sell some books here. I can't believe my darling baby little girl is getting married tomorrow. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday I was wiping up after you. Mum, it was only yesterday. I mean, after being force-fed 17 laddus, you'd vomit too. <laughs> and tomorrow you will be stolen away from me, dragged off by baying menfolk to another family far, far away. In Ilford. It takes 20 minutes on the North Circular. Please <laughs> stop worrying, it'll be fine. Oh, Betty, it's, it's not the wedding I'm worried about. It's uh, afterwards. <laughs> you know, when you both go home together and you have to perform your wifely duties. <laughs> oh, my God, you poor innocent child. How are you going to cope? Mum, Dinesh and I have been going out for eight years, right? Eight years? You kept him waiting all that time? <laughs> my God, he'd be like a wild animal. No. Mum, the thing is... No, no, you know, if they go without it for just one day, terrible things start to happen. <laughs> they drive too fast everywhere, they start fights. Mum, where do you get these ideas from? Oh, and if your father doesn't get any action for a week, he's jumping me in hallways and begging for <laughs> <laughs> sadomasochistic domination. Look, Mum, Dinesh and... A bit of what? <laughs> sadomasochistic domination? <laughs> first few years you can cope with it, you know, four times a night, the lunchtime knee tremblers, etc, etc. <laughs> and of course you get a bit of a rest when the babies come along. Uh, sorry, did you say four times a night? <laughs> no, 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 now it's down to two or three. But um, <laughs> after 40 years you want to say, stop, enough with the Ann Summers cat suits and the vibrating eggs. <laughs> Give an old woman a break. Vibrating eggs. Oh, listen to me. I know I don't need to tell you modern girls how to prolong a man's pleasure by biting down on the sensitive oh, no, part... Oh, no, 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 please, please, no. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I just don't want you to go through what I do. Very little chance of that, Mum. Hello, Betty. <laughs> that time already? Goodbye, Betty. <laughs> Hi, Simmy. Bit of a drag these family do, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh. Keeps the parents happy, though. <laughs> God! What? She's here! Oh. Uh, don't look at her, she, she'll come over! She's coming over! Oh, my God! Bobby, sweetie! <laughs> come and give your auntie a big, fat kissy! <laughs> <laughs> but, 
me down, you monkey. <laughs> you know, I used to change his nappy when he was a chota baby. And let me tell you, his girlfriend's going to be a very lucky woman. <laughs> Are you his girlfriend? No. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, don't be shy. You can tell me I'm very modern about these things. <laughs> no, 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 auntie, that's Simi. Yeah, uh, namaste, auntie. Slip me some skin, sister. <laughs> I know that's how all you youngsters talk because I'm very young and modern myself. <laughs> you need to need wicked, wicked. <laughs> Are you two getting it on together yet? Or still at the only upstairs touching on a first date, huh? You can tell me I'm very modern about these things. <laughs> no, no, me and Simi aren't going out together. No, we're just in the same study group at college. Oh, I get it. Say no more. We youngsters have to stick together, don't we? <laughs> you know, I'm a bit of a rebel myself. I am. I was the first lady in my aerobics for India class to wear a thong. <laughs> because I'm completely mad in a very modern sort of way. <laughs> so, how are your children, auntie? Pardon? Oh, you have kids. Where are they? I don't know. Um, didn't they run away when they were 12? Oh, you! Come on, let's put some Leo Sayer on and get this party swinging! <laughs> I can't quite believe it. My son's going to college, leaving home and becoming a man. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'll try to make you proud of me. Oh, your mother and I are proud of you, aren't we? Mum? Beta, why you want to go to college? Hmm? When I can make it at home for nothing. Ah. Look, 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 this is college. Oh, I'm so drunk. I just got 12 pints of lager. Hmm? Oh, oh, oh. Mom, what are you doing? You want some ganja? Oh. <laughs> uh, look, I'll never clean the house ever again. Hmm? I'll leave tins of beans out to let hair grow on them. Hmm? Dirt and filth is all here. Dad. Oh, leave me out of this. Look, I'm a student. I'm balancing a traffic cone on my head. It's not a traffic cone, it's a small aubergine. Aubergine, traffic cone, I'm too drunk to tell the difference. Come on, join in. <laughs> Good afternoon. Are you expected? Yes. And whom shall I say is calling? You shall say, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Cooper. Very well. Step this way. A stepping, stepping, stepping. Ah, some buddy, sorry, you cannot May I take your hat, sir? Uh, no, get your own. Is one going to hang it up for you, darling? <laughs> I knew that. Dennis, Charlotte. Oh, Sarjita! Sinjin, darling. Both wrong, actually. It's Lord St. John of Epping. <laughs> and Lady Vanessa of also Epping. How marvellous. <laughs> yes, the titles came free with the stately home. Let's give you the guided tour. <laughs> this is the entrance hall built by Henry X. Beautiful. A spiffing. Uh, notice the 16th century floorboards uh, laid down in 1348 by Edward XXII. <laughs> yes, the plastic hallway matting complements them perfectly. <laughs> um, what's this? Uh, this is the stained glass window. Uh, stained, huh? Have you tried rubbing it with vinegar? <laughs> it's stained on purpose. He knew that. <laughs> uh, we've started work on the garden. having it all taken up and putting a 15-acre patio in its place. <laughs> oh, would anybody else like a drink? Another Pims? Of course. Dennis? Oh, just a drink for me, please. I'll drink for Mellows. Tell me, St. John, what's that strange smell? Ah, the smell of the countryside, Dennis. Horses, don't you know? 
Ha! Huh. Have you horses? Not bloody likely. He can't stand the buggers. <laughs> yes, that's why we buy a bag of manure every week and leave it in the corner over there. <laughs> Gives it that authentic country feel. You back, my lady. Uh, yes, Mellis, could you get our guests a drink? Certainly. Mr. Cooper? Hey, I'm not! Two glasses of whiskey, I'm not going to die. Don't speak to the staff like that in the country, Dennis. <laughs> One jug of pims and one jug of whiskeys, Mellors. And hurry it up, or I'll give you a damn good thrashing. Who and what's that? Ah, uh, the family crest. Yes, it uh, shows a British bulldog rampant in a field of royal blue. And inscribed above, the family motto: "Si non est Albus, not nest bonum." What does that mean? If it ain't white, it ain't right. <laughs> oh! I say that fireplace must be lovely and warm in the winter. Yes, although we haven't actually managed to light it yet. <laughs> yes, but the neighbours have been very helpful. They bring round wood and fuel and matches and light it all for us. Then just pop it through the letterbox. <laughs> Charming. Yes, folk in the country are so much more friendly. Mm. They've even invited us shooting next week. And they've even offered us a 15-second head start. Charm, <laughs> man. This is total bestie, man. Only little kids do the nativity play, innit? Listen, man. The Hounslow Multicultural Interfaith Youth Community Centre nativity play is like a rasmalai turkey shoot of biblical proportions. That's because they look like turkeys, innit? Watch your mouth, man. You're talking about a girl I might be forced to marry one day, innit? But geezer, we, 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 we always play the free wise men, innit? So? I want to play something else, like, 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 like a shepherd or Jesus or something. The free wise men are boring, man. Oh, come on, die, man. You are missing the honour and proud heritage of a noble people, innit? Uh, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> the three wise men came from the east, right? Right. Wore turbans, right? Right. They were Punjabi. <laughs> They came from Jalandhar, man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How do you figure that one out? <laughs> Check this, man. Uh. Three strange geezers turn up at a kiddies party with no invitation. <laughs> they bring along crappy presents like gold, frankincense and myrrh. What's a little baby gonna do with that? Just because they bought crappy presents don't mean nothing, man. All right. What presents you get last year? Uh, well, I, I, I got I got a three-piece suit made out of mirrors. <laughs> uh, I got a blessing from a holy man who looked like Don King. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and a tank top with leg holes. And who gave you them presents? My Uncle Preetham. And where's he from? Jalanda. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. So, so, so why is it cool to be a wise man then, man? <laughs> you bindle! If you look in the Bible, the gold frankincense and myrrh are never mentioned again. That is because the three wise Punjabis took it back with them and opened up the world's first ever cash and carry. Wicked! Which is the first example of legendary Asian business acumen and international fraud, innit? Ah, oh, serious, man! Yes! Hey, I can't wait to wear the wise men. Ta, I ain't playing a wise man. Uh, what are you talking about, man? Bindia is playing Mary. So naturally, I'll be playing Joseph Nawami. <laughs> My chuddy man. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't want to be playing the three wise men all on my own. Okay, okay. Listen up, everyone. The casting for the play is as follows Bindia, you will play Mary. Cha sure, Bindia. <laughs> the part of Joseph will be played by Juggy. Juggy. <laughs> Juggy. The three wise men will be played by Asif, Mwangi and Nitin. Hi. <laughs> oh, and you two... You can play the donkey. <laughs> oh, kiss my furry chuddies, man! <laughs> this is like the cat top with leg all go over again! <laughs> Jackie smells delicious, Charlotte. Must be nearly ready, what? A few more minutes, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, any Christmas drinks on offer? Oh, yes. Uh, Dennis has made some lovely eggnog. Oh, oh super. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to boil the eggs, Dennis. I, I, I knew that. <laughs> How about some traditional English sherry? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, creamy bristles. Oh. Dennis, you are awful. <laughs> Do try a mince pie. Um, oh, um, oh I... no, 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 it's uh. all right. They're not made with minced beef this year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's lamb. <laughs> Much more England, huh? <laughs> Darling, why don't we hand out the presents? Oh, oh yes. Oh, uh, you really shouldn't have bothered. Well, uh, it is an English tradition. <laughs> is it? Of course. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> ah, for Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> and? and for Dennis. Oh. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> well, you see, we didn't know that you were going to give us. Ta da! Ta -da! <laughs> and uh, this one is for Vanessa. Merry the Christmas. <laughs> and this one is for Sergi uh, Senjan. And a happy the birthday to you. <laughs> Many happy returns. <laughs> uh, I say, Dennis, how about a little kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> I, I don't think we have any, actually. Oh, that's okay. I brought my own. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I do love a traditional English Christmas, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, there's more to Christmas, Vanessa, than alcohol and sex. Is there? Oh, yes. It's a religious festival. Ah, like Diwali and, and, uh, and Eid. Mm? You know, Christmas Eid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, quite <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Of course, well, we're both Church of England. Mm. So are we. Uh, well, are you going to Midnight Mass, then? Uh, yes. We've already been. Twice. <laughs> well, uh, the decorations look splendid, what? Uh, yes, well, there is nothing more English than Christmas decorations. In fact, Dennis has been up in the loft all last night, <laughs> getting the Christmas tree out of storage, checking the lights work. <laughs> well, of course, we have a real Christmas tree. Uh, so do we. <laughs> Real tinsel, not the plastic rubbish. In fact, St. John goes out and picks it fresh, don't you, sweetheart? <laughs> well, we love our traditional English Christmases. Yes, James Bond, the Queen's Speech. Ah, the smell of nuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, so sorry. I must be standing too close to the oven. <laughs> 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 